In this video, we use the highest penetrating APFSDS in the game. This is the Object 292. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded but we are back here again with a banger. This is the Object 292. This is the first of Gaijin's event vehicles that will be ongoing now. If you want to find out where you can pick this thing up if you don't know already, click your player card onto your achievements and click on Call of the Dragon. You'll need 8 of these tasks complete in order to get it. If you haven't already done these, you can buy them with GE. But in a few days, this thing will be available on the marketplace at an unknown cost, honestly. This might be around $40, $50, maybe because the task to convert this to a coupon is pretty hard to do. But anyway, today we're just here to play this thing. It has the most powerful APF SDS round in the game, fired from a 152mm cannon. This thing almost has 700mm of penetration. Now, if you turn your attention to this thing's projectile mass, that is 7 kilograms, you see at almost 2,000 meters a second muzzle velocity and because it's so heavy it carries that energy for a very long time. Now the cannon isn't the only thing that really makes this thing special. The fact that it's on a T80 chassis makes it one of the fastest vehicles at 10.0. That includes wheelie boys as well. We can hit 60 kilometers an hour no problem at all because it's a T80 as well. Your reverse speed is pretty decent. It's not great but at least it's there. The T80's mobility is absolutely fantastic and it's very good as well in the armor department. On face value doesn't look that great at all but when you check out the x-ray here you'll notice it has some composite hidden behind the agile armor itself if you're using heat against this thing from the front it is an absolute nightmare to kill and as well if you have basically dm23 and below you're really going to struggle of course with a big gun you have the achilles heel of having a 10 second auto loaded reload your gun depression is okay the turret elevation speed on this thing is absolutely dreadful at only two degrees a second now the vehicle is stabilized it doesn't get thermals at 10.0 that really shouldn't be an issue with this much firepower. It just means things are harder to spot and of course when it comes to a brawl you'd probably much prefer to bring out the terms. Other things to note is we do not have any machine gun anywhere whatsoever and our cupola up here sticks out quite a bit. Now before we go any further let's talk about this thing's cannon. It is absolutely fantastic. You'll basically frontally pen anything that you'll face up to 11.0 but the problem with it is it can be too much penetration. If you shoot a leopard say on the side, let's have a look at the 2A4 here, there's not much armour to actually create spall at only 35mm, so what I've learned to do with this thing is go for turret sides and of course just under here. It's really counterintuitive because you have to actually aim for armoured pieces to create the spall because if you don't your shell will go right through often not causing any damage to crewmates whatsoever and just taking out things like the engine, transmission and leaving you very vulnerable for that 10 second reload. Once you've figured all that out though, this thing is an absolute monster and of course with the 10.0 Russian premium lineup, this thing is absolutely ferocious. I played 8 games in this thing, 4 of which we managed to get a nook and 2 of those we got shot down by teammates who were pretty upset I had a test drive of this thing before it was released. That happens, I'm going to show you the 2 nook games I got where I didn't get interfered with by teammates. Then a couple of extra games where some really weird stuff happened with this APF SDS. Anyway, let's get into battle and I'll show you how I got on. Right there we got kind of a rotten map straight off the rip. It is what it is. I do kind of like the new look of the HUD, but I do wish Gaijin would add like legacy options for stuff. Because they've got people who have been playing for years and years, boomers, like me. I don't know what this 60 thing means, but we're about to find out. Probably something to do with how much ticket bleed um, I imagine. I actually don't know how to play this map really well, so we're heading to the middle. There's a lot going on right now. That man is already gone too. What is hitting me? Oh, I'm getting machine gun from behind. That's fine. Well, we absolutely murdered that Leo too. I'm probably not in the best position right now for the reload that we have, so... Not a good hit there. I don't even see what damage we did. He doesn't know where I am. Have another bad shot because I started moving before I fired. Are 
we are doing way too much penetrations to actually get good solid damage in. I don't know how I'm alive in the middle of the map here for so long. Right, that was a different guy, right? No, it wasn't. It was the same guy. So the other dude is still in here. He's just smoked up. I don't even have uh, an MG. I think the guy I shot before is still behind that dude. That dude is reversing so fast. Oh my word. All right. The amount of shrapnel we generated off that dude was insane. This other guy is blissfully unaware, so I think I'm just going to chase him. Oh, that's... Okay, my team may go on. So far, we've just had the typical TAA experience. Just absolutely running over the enemy team. Right, we need to figure out what this scoreboard stuff means. But right now, we're in the heat of battle, so... We'll do it later. Where are all these missiles coming from in the sky? SPAs? There's a lad right here. Two. One to one closer to me. That got hung up on his optic. Not surprising. But quite frustrating. I should have just went for his breach, right? That man is hurt, so I can maybe push this side on this guy. He's probably gonna hurt me though, is he? Nope, straight through his turret cheek. Into the ammunition. Are you getting hit by Toto bees or something? Terrible shot. I'm gonna get hurt here, probably. Give him a turret cheek, fine. And I'm actually in the spawn now. This thing is rotten, dude. 10-0. Oh my god. Commander loader engine radiator fuel tank horizontal is absolutely gubbed. There's nothing this guy can do. Right, I don't have smoke either. So we're a wee bit um, in trouble, I would say. I got two shells left as well. I should probably take a little bit more. Doing pretty well though, all things considered. Our mobility has basically got us away with murder, to be honest. Not so much the gun, it's just that it's a TAA 10 -0. We're hunting wabbits. Guy right here. And another. Oh, you can't really hurt me, can you? Should probably just hit this dude with a HE. This is a beagle panzer. Oh, he tracked me. Oh, come back, did you? You had me at the side shot of the century. not coming back. Oh, this is a problem as a Puma now. Show my barrel. Show my barrel. Show my barrel. Show my barrel. Okay, he achieved that one. He shot my barrel. We are still at T80. Right, I've reloaded so you can shoot my barrel now. My teammate. Oh no, this is a problem here. Yeah, he... He actually set me on fire just before I repaired. The rings out. My TXP is uh, right here helping me. I think we got a nuke in our first game. Do you know that? Which is absolutely bananas. All right, let's go. Um, it's not very clear on what is actually happening on the scoreboard right now. Is this thirty-five hundred versus fourteen? No. I don't, I don't understand. 
I really don't understand what's happening. Right, time to get flat grab panzered or something. Oh my god, this map is very flat. My team's probably going to cap this before I get there. That's fine, they need the 50 silver lions they'll get from it, I suppose. We're flying in, dude. If we drop, we drop. If we don't, I won't be mad. Yeah, but our team just capped the point, so... Alright, so it's like a... A score-based thing now? Well, GG. So, 10 kills, that was a nuke in less than 7 minutes. Uh, which isn't the fastest nuke, but it's very quick. Reward for a test drive is not bad, and of course, the research as well. We won't be able to tell until I actually own the vehicle uh, what the rewards are, but that's not too bad, actually, for this BR. Right, dude, here we go. I got a little bit of a late start, but it's okay. Um, hopefully we get a more lengthy game out of this one. All the matches so far have been really quick. It's just, uh, it's just this tier. There's not enough people that actually have vehicles to bring out. And like I said, the easiest and quickest way to grind anyway is with one tank. Which is what everyone's doing, right? You buy a premium, you just keep playing it out over and over. The, the reward isn't there for just playing the game. Which is pretty sad. You should notice me, no. No, he has. Too late, though. Right, anyone else sleeping over here? Go back! Oh, that's not good. I got his driver and his cannon barrel. That's interesting. I'm getting smacked from the other side, though. Oh my god, I almost got a double. Where'd the red camp wagon go? There he is. My transmission is still busted. It was probably this guy that shot me. We just shot each other at the same time, yeah? Oh, my game is frozen. This happens quite a bit. I can still hear the audio. There we go. Pretty weird. What else just hit me? That guy did. Oh, my tank is really slow right now. Right, what, what is firing through this gap? Because he's obviously trying to get me, isn't he? Oh, there. I can't hit him, obviously. This guy here, though. Fine. Well, it's rest in peace for us, so well, never mind. He tried to go for my turret cheek or maybe upper front plate, I don't know, he, but he goofed. And very kindly, he smoked for me, so... Got myself stuck. This guy's still trying to murder me from over there. I find it really weird that he's continuing to do so, even though it's not been successful for him once yet. This is a very angry round, dude. For absolutely sure. Another one way back there. Just moving. My uh, driving ability is definitely very impaired right now. <laughs> this guy's still trying to shoot me through this. What a psycho. I'm actually running out of bullets. Teammates hit this guy, yeah? Done. Could there have been a more perfect map for us? Probably not. Where was the guy who was low down trying to get me? 
still over this way. I don't see him anymore, actually. But this guy is really unhappy with me, dude. Are you? Is that a murder? This man is trying to kill me with a murder. I think that guy may be cheating. It's quite bold of me to say, right? But I, I don't know, man. He's like perfect shot every time. He can't even see me. It's pretty weird, to be honest. Time to push up, I think. I've got one APFSDS left. shooting you from this side. I love. Okay, I was gonna ask if you needed help, but I think clearly you're doing fine. Not a love. It's alright, because I've got HE to deal with that. Are you getting shot from a different direction now? I'm a little bit scared of the lav, to be honest, because it... The murder's back. Right, we push the lav, I guess. No darts left. I don't think we get a lot for killing a murder, spawn point-wise. Never mind RP and Silver Lions. There was definitely two lives. And he might be set up in a position to shoot up at us. He's gone. Almost on our nick. Done. Should we try get it this time? Um, that ghost shelled because he, there's no impact behind the guy either. But I've got one shell left. Oh. Who am I more scared of? Yeah, kill that guy. I need to get rid of the SPAs because it just means, oh god, the tank here as well. Right, kill me, dude. Thank you. Let's go, Nuke. Probably get team killed. I've seen a lot of people chatting there. Oh, there's only one enemy left. Yeah, pretty insane vehicle. It is, it's okay. The, the reload definitely doesn't help. But that was a full up TR. And I think just... I think it should be slightly higher in BR, honestly. Personally. Might be those who disagree, that's fine. They're definitely going to have varying opinions, but... You know. Wait, do we get TKT here or no? It's very likely, unfortunately. Let me drop, then. And she's away. GG. We got the drop of that time. Good map for this tank. Very good map for this tank. I like it because it's a TA. A 10 <laughs> And a bit better. It's a lion RP right there. Anyway, GG. Right, dude. Look at my teammates 
spawned facing our rock. Amazing. We're gonna go out on the, the outer edge of the map and push A. And then we'll try to do this flank maybe, or do this rock shooting down that street. Something like that. We wanna get out of this tree area though because you can't see really anything in third person. Turn to battlefield, that's a big boy. Okay, he's gonna come back for me, maybe. Wonder if that dude scouted me, shot the one that was more dangerous to me, but he's saying that. Did I make the right call? Where did you go? Up here, yeah. There's actually two of them there. And the other guys are gonna come back, yeah. Can I kill all your crew here? Not all of them, but they're very hot. Ricocheted uh, an SPA. Very interesting. guy is not doing so good that he's dead. This dart feels like just a normal dart, honestly, but you do get good some post-spin damage out of it at times. But uh, it definitely does some funky stuff, right? It's a, it's a really good tank, but it's not like a wow, this thing is OPE. Right, teammates capping that. There's an airplane coming in. It's probably coming straight for us. No one's going down that way. I think we won this game already. We are kind of half decent elevation. What is shooting my teammate there? Another Gepard who's died. So just the A5C and a couple others. There's a guy here with no score at all. A couple of bizarre ricochets and weird pens. God, we just annihilated these guys. That guy just shot me in the side and I lived. I think there's actually quite a few in here. I don't see any right now. Yeah, chief. Oh, they're all down there. So A5C still, right? That guy's just spawned in. At A, A20, A28B. What is rocket in this guy? Is that an enemy chopper? No, it's friendly. Did it? Well, welcome to 10 0. <laughs> ah, GG. Holy moly. Sorry if the footage for this is quite sparse, but I had to scrap the two games where I get team killed. I don't like to promote that sort of behaviour. And of course, now, um, the day after everyone got this thing and it was just Object 292 versus Object 292, it wasn't very organic at all, but I hope the first couple of games in that little one I showed you there can I show you what this thing's capable of and what it's not. Against light vehicles, it's actually quite difficult. You need to hit the breach in order to create a lot of ball enough to take out the turret crews. So things like TAMs and stuff are actually a bit of a nightmare for this guy. I've also flat out ricocheted murders and stuff's upper front plate. So it's a little bit weird. Once this sort of grind thing has calmed down, I think I want to take this back out again and just use some pure HE. But for the minute, it's a little bit of a nightmare in matchmaking.
Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that would help the channel a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button too. To everyone who supports the channel over on Discord and Patreon, thank you guys very much. And thank you for being so patient the last couple of weeks. I've had a little bit of burnout, or moreover, a little bit of burnout. I've been grinding some vehicles so I can make some videos on them. And sometimes the grind of War Thunder can get to the best of us. And the worst of us. To all the tier 3s over on Discord to get a shout out, that's Ari, Sexy, White Wolf, Army, Rebel, Bofi, Desari, Ezra, the Titania, Felix, Germ, Goosebelly, Master Zen, Mushy Boy, uh, Reaper of Souls, The Rice Fields Antic, Rusty, Satan, Karma, Azizar, Sniper, Stoyan, Strike Noir, Wrecked Wolf, and Zig. And of course, to everyone over on Patreon, that's Matthew S, Paul Wendrick, Cookie Muncher, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Ander Stormbrand, NBA, Juan Kenobi, Ethan Excavation Nation, Jay Parambi, Love a Weasel, Maybe Cookie Muncher, Not Cookie Muncher, Ride Shaft, Tank Tonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly Mortar, and David Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.